Picture Sydney CBD in the middle of the pandemic, completely deserted, businesses were getting shut down daily, windows were getting boarded up. So to see new and updated Chengjiang shop fronts operating over that period certainly raised the hairs on our neck. We allege that there is a group of people shadow controlling this organisation that were not listed as the controlling entities, they were not registered as the business owners, but they had full effective control over the Changjiang enterprise. We suspect hundreds of millions of illicit proceeds have moved through Changjiang. Finding that alleged illicit $10 million contract amongst billions of dollars of legitimate funds has been difficult, but through our investigations and our crack team of forensic accountants, we've been able to do that. They actually entrenched themselves within the financial services industry and became, over time, one of the largest independently owned remitters in Australia. They are incredibly complex, incredibly sophisticated. They'll regularly move money through a third offshore jurisdiction, sometimes in the shape of cryptocurrency. They would actually instruct their customers on false invoices, false paperwork, false bank statements they needed to create in order to help obfuscate the source of their funds. The task force has identified significant wealth, the vehicles they drive, the houses they live in, the balance of their bank accounts. We will seek restraint and ultimately confiscation. We will work through every part of the alleged syndicate with a fine tooth comb to the point that the alleged syndicate will no longer exist. We will dismantle it. By us going over on this activity, we're going to have a direct and immediate impact on multiple TSOP groups across multiple crime types in this country. We're taking out the alleged syndicate heads, dismantling the Changjian Money Exchange and also sending a strong message to industry that this behaviour will not be tolerated. To the money laundering syndicates out there and to the organised crime groups that use them, we are not done. You are not untouchable and you are within the reach of the AFP and our partners.